we are, we are going to start with this part of a class, which is a personal life, all right? So we'll go one more time to the class and let's see. Today, we're gonna to be talking about writing, personal life, all right? Lesson 1G. Let me ask you something. Before we start with this topic, with this lesson, how do you describe, can you, are, are you able to describe yourself? For example, look at me. I am going to describe myself. My name is Alexis Joseph. I am an English teacher with over seven years of teaching experience, over, around eight years of teaching experience. I live in the Americas. My family is from DR. I have um, a degree in education, especially majoring teaching English as a second language. And I enjoy, I enjoy playing football, I mean basketball and baseball. I, lo I love doing exercise, outdoor activities, and going to the supermarket. <laughs> so can you, can you tell me something about your personal life? Okay, wait, hold me a bit. Okay. Um, um, Sorry, Nyan. that's just an example, all right? Okay. I'm Nyan from Viet. I'm 12 years old from, I'm from Viet. Live in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. So I'm okay. a student. And like I'm in grade six in the summer of grade six and next, next, then I will learn grade seven. So my family is happy. Just three people. That's me, my dad, and my mom. And I enjoy to play video games and buying things online, building, oh, nice. the, building the Gundam, and listen to music. So, uh, my favorite place that I want to go in the weekend the cinema. Oh, the they cinema. Have a lot of, yes, I enjoy to go to cinema to like watch some good movie, some new movie that um, is kind of good. It's not like it's the cinema movie, so it's good. I think so. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Let me ask you something. All right, uh, Nyan. So uh, you are the only child of the house, right? Yes. Okay. So let's continue here. So now uh, I already learned about your personal life, your personal profile, and you already listened to my personal profile, all right? So let's, I, I want you to read this. I want you to read both profiles. Those are a sort of introductions, right? Then you're gonna read the short biography of Rose and the short biography of Abigail. Let's get it started. Okay, my name is Rose. I'm seven years old and I live Seven, in Boston. 17. 17 years old and I live in Boston in, US, in the USA. All I'm right. quite a friendly person and rather sensitive. At least I think so. My friends say I'm sometimes likely impatient and I can be a bit lazy about schoolwork. I like being around really confident people and also, people who are sh who share the same interests as me, I enjoy outdoor activities. I do a lot of surfing and swimming, and a bit of rock climbing too. Okay. Uh, hi, so, I'm Abigail. Now you're gonna do the one of Abigail. Let me see how you how well you do it. Hi, I'm Abigail. I'm 16 years old and my home is in San Diego, California. I'm pretty hardworking and very loyal. I get on well with funny people. I'm quite an ambitious person. I want to study medicine at university. I'm not very tolerant of lazy people. I'm interested in books and I spend a lot of time reading my hobbies, are chess and computer games, and I'm crazy about rock music. Oh my God, crazy. That means she like it, right? Uh, when, you say, when you say in English, I'm crazy about rock music. Crazy about means like you like a lot. 
So very well, Nyan. So now we are going to compare. We are going to compare, all right? Mm -hmm. Both profiles. Let me see. Look at both profiles, all right? So then I'm gonna ask you the following questions. Okay, so we already read the profiles and you're gonna tell me which information do both profiles, all right, contain. Then you're gonna tick the boxes. Number one. The home, uh, the their, their home, their home town. Is this oh. the home town? Is the same hometown? Do they have this? Do they live in the same or are they from the same hometown? Oh. No. What about their personality? Is their personality similar? Yes. I uh, know. Um, hmm. Let me see. I uh, know. I think it's not. Okay. Let me ask you something. What about the type of people they like? I think they're the same. Everything is different, all right? It's what not about like okay? Okay, what about the type of people they don't like? <laughs> yes, um, not the same. All right, and what about their hobbies? Can you tell me? Uh, let me see. Can you tell me what is the hometown of Rose? Hometown, a uh, home. Like yeah. sometimes, yeah, like the city where they live, oh, where he where he live, Boston in USA. Boston, he lives in Boston, USA. My beautiful city of Boston, love it. Oh, so you live in Boston too? Uh, well, actually, I'm not living in Boston. I'm living in DR, but uh, my family lives in Boston. Okay. okay. What about Abigail? Abigail, where does she live? California, San Diego. San Diego, California, that's right. And what about their personalities? So what is Abigail and Rose like? Um, Rose like uh, surfing and swimming and a bit of rock climbing. Abigail like uh, reading chess, computer games and rock music. Mm, when okay, let me ask you this question again. For example, when I'm saying to you, "What is Abigail like?" or "What is Rose like?" I'm referring to the way. Let me write it to you here. I'm referring to the either physical appearance or personality. So, what is Rose like? Okay. So referring to the way, the personality, the way how they behave, okay? So actually Rose is a quite a friendly person or rather sensitive. And what about Abigail? She's pretty? Mm, I'm pretty hard working and very loyal. She's pretty hard working and loyal, all right? That's, that is her personality. And number three, uh, what type of people they like? Um, really confident. Uh, okay, confident. look at look at there. Let me show you. Look at Rose. So look at what Rose says over here. What kind of people? Uh, what kind of people does Rose like? Look at what like, he says. I like being around really confident people. And also people who share the same interests with as me. That's right. Let's see what's happened with Abigail. Abigail. Uh, I'm not. Um, let me find it. I'm not very tolerant. I'm not very tolerant of lazy people. Okay. Let's see. Those are things that they don't like. All right. And what about their hobbies? What are their hobbies? Mm -hmm. Computer games, chess. Surfing. Okay, Ross. What are Ross hobbies? Rock climbing, swimming, surfing. Okay. Okay, his hobbies are he do uh, a lot of surfing, swimming, and a big of rough climbing too. So what about Abigail? Mm -hmm. Chess, computer games. Reading, reading too, I think so. 
and listen to rock music. Okay, so let me see here. Now uh, we have their ambitions. Ambitions is the one we refer in English to ambitions. All right, we are referring, Nyan, we are referring to their patients, passions, I'm sorry, and also their interests. Interest. Okay, check there and tell me what may be their interest. Um, books, Abigail. Okay. Books. okay, Abigail, let me see. She's interested in books and she has spent a lot of time reading. So what about Rose? Hmm. Let me see. Uh, interest in what? Yeah, actually, I think we, we, we already mentioned that. It was enjoy outdoor activities. For example, swimming, a bit of rock climbing, etc. All right? So that is going to be their, their interest. So let's continue with this topic of with this topic of profiles. So check there. Okay, all, they all they have this inf this kind of information in their profiles. Uh, obviously, it's not the same information, but they do refer to this type of information. They live in a hometown. They have their own personality. The the profiles refers to uh, the people they like or the people they don't like. Uh, well, it's not referring to the people. Uh, this Ross profile is not referring to the people he doesn't like. Let's continue. So now we are going to complete this exercise. Uh, we are going to complete the phrases for talking about hobbies and interests. So we are going to use the words below. Look at that. Number one, what is the first word? Uh, I'm interested in the first word is gonna be do then after I'm that doing. the next one is gonna be enjoy and after this Hobbies. and after that interest okay and after this one crazy okay crazy so let me see let's check the the let's check all right i want you to Okay, I want you to check. I want you to check. Um, I want you to check that. So let me see. Number one, I'm. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested. All right, I'm interested in number two. I enjoy. I enjoy. Something. That's right. I enjoy something. I enjoy life. I enjoy my life. I enjoy myself. Nyan enjoy himself. All right. Mm -hmm. What is, is there something that you ever, uh, that you enjoy in your life? Gandan. <laughs> Why well, you know it? <laughs> because you told me, uh, give, allow me one second. Yes. Allow me just, all right. There is always something that we enjoy. Allow me just one second, Nyan. One second real quick. Hey, stay okay. with me. All right.
Okay, sorry about that, Nyan. Let's continue. Number three, I'm. Okay, okay. I'm um, crazy. Oh, no, um, enjoy. Um, I'm crazy. Look yes. at this. That is crazy about. Look at this one. I want you to tell me, let me see here. Oh, what's up? Okay, I'm crazy about. I want you to tell me something you are crazy about. Nothing. Nothing? There is yeah, nothing you I don't, I don't like I'm in the crazy level. No, no, no. But look at this. Like, no, when you say I'm crazy about, it's not like the people the person is getting crazy. No, I mean I'm, that I it's like you very like it, right? That's right. You like very much. Like no, you are, you are patient. You're I patient. Crazy. Okay. So I can tell you something that I am crazy about. I am crazy about I am crazy about languages. <laughs> I love languages, all right? So especially teaching. Let me see. Number four. I I enjoy. I enjoy. I, I do, do. I do a bit, a bit of. of something and a lot of something that's right number five my hobbies my hobbies are okay fantastic number five so let me see here uh let me let me ask you something number one i want you to help me completing the sentences with your perspective or point of view point of view viewpoints all right number one I'm interested. I'm interested in what are you interested games. in? Games, video games. Video games, number two. I enjoy to build good dog. Okay, you enjoy again then. Number three. I'm crazy about nothing. <laughs> about nothing. All right. So number four. I do a bit of with Alexis homework every day. Oh, nice. Also, maybe a, a bit of exercise. Do you exercise? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, number five, your hobbies. My, my hobbies are watching TV, playing games. Okay, play games and watching TV. All right. So let me see. Now we are going to go back. All right, and in this exercise number five, Nyan, we are gonna do the following, all right? We are going to find a phrase in each profile that means I like to be with. Let's go back. Let's go ahead. Look at the profiles. Which one of these expressions do you think will, will mean I like to be with. Let me, okay. Abigail. Which one? Abigail. Okay. Uh, okay, Abigail is the person, but especially in the profile, let me tell you again. So here in all these words, we are having 
this test, this paragraph. So which of these words, look at here, here in all these tests, all right? I want you to tell me which of these expressions or sentences stands or means, all right? I like to be with. I like to be with? Yeah. Uh, I want to, uh, I think that I want to study medicine at university. Let me show you which one is. So this one is gonna be, let me write it to you. It may be a new word to you. I, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Okay. It's gonna be, I get on. I get on. Okay, I get on. Here you can see an, an example. So, can you read this one? I get on. Well, with funny people. That's right. When you say, for example, in English, I get on well with funny people, you are saying that you like to be with somebody. That is a new word, may, or that might be a new phrase for you. I will encourage you to write it because whatever is written, Jan, you will never forget it because you can go to the source and study this phrase, that expression, and remember that expression many times only by reading that expression. So let's continue. Exercise number six. Okay, so now let's talk about a little bit of grammar, all right? Let's use the learn this box. Okay, so we are having another exercise, right? But first I want you to help me. I want you to help me reading the modifying adverbs, all right? How do we use the modifying adverbs? Wait, can you give me a second? Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Thank you. Okay, we can continue. Okay, so let's continue, fine. Let me see, Um, number, okay, so let me ask you something. Uh, now, the, the actually the topic in the, of this class is focused, this class is focused especially on modifying adverbs, all right? Modifying adverbs. And because of this, Nyan, I am going to ask you this question, okay? And the question is, when, how do we use or why do we use modifying adverbs? Describe something, some level that is big. Uh, in order for you to answer, in order for you to answer to me this question, you can use the learn this box and then you will find the answer. How do we use or why do we use the modifying adverbs? Mm. There you have the answer. Look at here. Oh, oh I know. Uh, to uh, <laughs> describe the to describe the subject, right? I uh, know the object. Okay, let me tell you, we use modifying adverbs. You can see it here. Can you see it? Adjective. Oh, okay. Adjective. Modifying adverbs. This one over here. Can you see it? Yes. We use modify adverbs to make uh, the meaning of adjective stronger or weaker. That is correct. To make the meaning of an adjective, all right, stronger or weaker. So let's see. Could you give me some examples? For a bit. Okay. A bit, which is informal. We slightly. also slightly, that is correct. Another one. Pretty. Pretty. Yes, and 
Rather. Rather, quiet, very. Um, look at this, depending on the context, because even there is not being mentioned, but let me tell you something, depending on the context, which means uh, the way how we are talking, okay, depending on that, all right? It can sound too negative in English to use not with an adjective. So we often use not, not very instead, but the meaning is the same as not. He's not very friendly. What you're saying he's not friendly. So yeah. it's, it's like, you don't want to say, oh, for example, Luke is not, it's not very friendly. But you, the thing is that you're trying to be at least polite, at least very polite. You you don't want to be like too negative and say, oh, he's not friendly at all. You're saying he's not <laughs> very friendly. You like soften a little bit. He's not like, he's not very friendly. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. So here we are going to identify in this exercise some of these um, modifying adverbs in the profile. Then uh, here you can also translate it into Vietnamese if you want, in case that you do not do not know them. So let's see. Can you tell me some adverbs? I um, mean, some of these modifying adverbs in your in in the profile. Mm. What is the adverb? Quite. That's right. Another one. Please. Say it, say it again. At least. Is it correct? Let me see. Rather. Uh, I, rather. I am uh, and rather sen sensitive. Another one. At least. I think so. Slightly. Or slightly. Slightly. Yeah, this one, yes. A bit. Right. A bit. That is correct. Um, really, really, that's right. Another one, <laughs> a lot of, uh, in fact, yeah, a lot of could be, but more pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty, hum pretty hard working, which means okay. I work a lot. Another one, very, very, that is correct, fantastic. Quiet, we already mentioned that. Another one? Not very. Not very, that is correct. Not very. So then we finish this part. So now uh, now that you already know the modifying adverbs, Nyan, now that you already know them, so I want you to choose the correct words in the rules. Look at here. Modify, listen to this rule. Modifying adverbs usually go before, before. or after the an adjective. The adjective. Before. before. <laughs> Very good. Fantastic. Before. Fantastic. Let me see. Number two, the modifying adverbs quite ver or very goes before a or n when there is a noun. What do you think? Quiet or very goes very. before. Let me see. It's quiet. Okay. Quiet. Oh. It's quite important. Look at this. Oh, this information is quite important. All right. Oh, this situation is quite sensitive. Very to increase the degree. All right. Number three. A bit and slightly are used with the adjective with positive, positive. or negative meaning. What do you think? Positive. Or negative negative yeah mm -hmm. a bit is, yeah in this case let me show you i can i can tell you the reason you may be like why all right you may be wondering why what's happening is that uh in order for you not to be like so straightforward like you want to say something and then you are very very straightforward you say he's a bit lazy you know what i mean yes like he's a bit lazy, but you don't want to say that he's too lazy. You just want to like, you know, try to be a little bit polite. My mom usually yeah. say, he's very lazy, he's a bit lazy. <laughs> yeah, but imagine you have a friend of you, all right? And maybe uh, a friend of you tell, ask, for example, I'm not going to say you personally, right? Because I do not consider that you are lazy. 
because you are very diligent and you do your homework. But for example, this is just an example. You have a friend of you. Tell me the name of any of your friends. Bao. Bao. All right. So Bao is talking about yourself. Do you remember when I taught you the first lesson about describing adjectives? You were describing a friend of you. So for example, Bao is going to describe you. And then Bao is going to say about you, well, Nyan is very dynamic. Bao is a very interesting guy. He is uh, actually, he is so funny, but he's a bit lazy. Maybe he Bao is saying, oh, Nyan is a bit lazy, but he, he doesn't want to say that Nyan is lazy. He's just saying a bit, all right? Because he maybe he does not want to put you down. He wants to like, yeah, he acknowledge, yeah. he acknowledges that you are lazy, but you know, that's just an example, all right? He acknowledged, all right? He acknowledged that you are um, like, you know, you don't like to work too much, but he's trying to be polite. Even he knows, all right, how the way you are, but he's not trying to intensify your, your condition. Do you understand? And that's why since being lazy might be something negative, then you're gonna say, oh, it's a bit lazy. This this is a slightly negative to me. Something like that. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, perfect. If you understand this very well, it makes me feel very happy. Let's continue. X6 Ex exercise number eight. So here what we are going to do is to add the modifying adverbs in the brackets, so uh, in the brackets to, to the sentences. Number one, I'm created. What is that going to be? I'm pretty creative. I'm ambitious. Oh, ambitious. Yeah, oh uh, yes, so it's creative. I think Let me so. see. I'm, pre I'm pretty creative. I'm not very amb ambitious, right? So this way okay you can say i'm pretty i'm pretty creative i'm not very ambitious all right next one number two my best friend is confident but impatient uh, my best friend is rather confident but a bit impatient let's see my best friend is rather confident but a bit impatient very good, fantastic. It makes me feel happy, Nyan, when you answer very really well. Next one, number three. My brother is serious and shy. Uh, my brother is pretty serious and slightly shy. My brother is pretty serious and slightly shy. Fantastic, very well. Let me see, number four. He's a, he's a friendly person, but he's arrogant. arrogant. We arrogant. I remember it's a good word to describe a good thing. Say. Do you remember the word arrogant? Um, I think, oh, uh, okay. He's, uh, uh, he's a very friendly person. But he's a bit arrogant. Okay. He's a very friendly person, but he's a bit arrogant. That's right. Number five. She is uh, she's honest. She's an honest person, sorry. She's an honest person. And uh she's sensitive. What what she's will it be? Quite, she's quite um honest person. She is um quite honest person she's not very sensitive oh my God. okay she's uh okay she's quite an honest person an honest person she's not very sensitive that's right so then oh my god that's very important okay so i want you to say some basic information about yourself all right it will include your name, your age, etc. I think you already did it at the beginning when you started saying your profile, like my name is Jan, 
I'm from yeah. Vietnam. You already did that. So yeah. that is going to be pretty much a written homework that I am going to give you. Okay, you are going to ask some, you are going to add in this profile some information about your personality, but you are not going to use the same words. You are going to use new words, all right? And also I want you to mention what type of people do you like and what type of people you do not like. In addition to this, I want you to tell me because I am sure that you are more hobbies or you may have, I mean, you have more hobbies or you may have more hobbies, information about your hobbies and interests. Maybe there is something you're thinking you might like in the future, all right? So, and that's pretty much it. So let me ask so you. One G of, so one G, uh, student book, SSI 9, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, let me show you here. Give me a second. It's gonna be the, um, the unit, let me see. Let me tell you real quick. So can you see my screen? No. Okay, now you can. Now you will be able to do it. So let me go back. Okay. So here you have the exercise. You have this exercise to do, I mean, these exercises of unit, unit 1G. And this one is the one I'm gonna make extra emphasis because pretty much is the creation of your profile. But I will encourage you to use new information. Not only, well, obviously there are informations that are not replaceable, but you can add more and new information to your profile. Let me show you here. So this one is the one I'm gonna make more emphasis, right? A personal profile about yourself, and then you will include all this. Okay. Let me send you a picture. Let me see if I can send you a picture here in the chat. So you may be able to, okay, to do that. So let me see. Okay, I see it. Let me see if I send it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Good. Of the lesson. Okay, here it is. So we will do exercise nine and the yeah. honor. There is gonna be a, yeah the other ones in the in the in the lesson. You're gonna complete the other ones, and then we we'll see our faces the next week. No, um, Saturday. Yeah, up Saturday, Saturday. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought that. Uh, yeah, that's right. The Saturday. We have Wait, the class. So we will do exercise nine student book and other the exercise workbook, right? Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yan, thank you so much. I wish you a fantastic rest of a uh, well evening over there. Here is the morning time. I wish you a fantastic rest of the, the evening. I sleep very well. Rest, mm -hmm. stretch out. Okay, move your hands and I tell you goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nyan. See you.